So this chair is excellent. And, and, check this out, it only cost $100. So for a hundred dollars you'd think this chair cannot possibly be any good, but the truth is that it is pretty good. Now I personally have not sat in a more expensive chair, like a, a DXR Racer or whatever it's called, but being drawn to this chair by the low price, I can assure you that it works very well. For literally an entire year I was sitting on a box at my desk and I was sitting there for hours per day editing videos and I started developing some back problems so I decided to pick up an actual chair with a back. And I looked on Amazon quite a bit, you know, I looked at Amazon Basics chairs, I looked at all sorts of different kinds of chairs, and then I found this one. I, I think it was about four star reviews, maybe like four and a half, and so I took the leap and I just went for it. It came in a box, I had to assemble it myself, which was kind of challenging. Speaking of that con, let's go over the rest of the cons of this chair and just get those out of the way. The arms are in no way raisable or lowerable. They are permanently set where they are, which is unfortunate because I'd like them to be a little bit higher, but they are nice for getting out of the chair, right? Or getting into the chair. And so they're not useless, but that is certainly something to think about. Another thing to think about is that the lower lumbar support pillow and the head pillow are vastly inconvenient to put onto the chair. I don't even know if that was proper grammar. They're horribly inconvenient. You have to feed them through the crack in the chair and it's kind of like a suspender. Like it goes over the chair and then back under. It's just not very good, which is unfortunate because there are times I would like to take off the lower pillow, but the inconvenience of having to put it back on just stops me. That being said, the pillow is comfortable in most positions and it is possible to push it down or up quickly depending on what kind of sitting position you want, which means that the pillow in and of itself is not a con. It's just the fact that putting it on and taking it off is difficult. Now on to the pros. Other than price, which we already talked about, this chair has a slew of features that are quite impressive at the price. A couple features worth noting are the slide out foot stand, which I use quite a bit, the way the chair reclines, as well as the way the chair tilts, allowing one to lay completely flat and in total comfort. The chair also has an incredibly nice look and finish to it. I also can't recall any weird chemical smells with this chair, so really it's an excellent chair. All of the stitching on my particular model looked pretty good. I didn't have any rips or anything too uneven. And the final thing to consider, the reason that the racer chairs, these kind of chairs are so popular is because they look good. They're popular amongst YouTubers because we sit in our chairs and shoot ourselves in our chairs quite a lot. And so the chair has to look professional and it has to look good. And so with this being black and white, having a nice little head pillow as well as a frame that contours to your body, it looks great in videos. And if you go back and look at some of my previous videos or in the suggestion bar, you might find some of my videos. You'll discover that almost every day in every, in every video, I'm in this chair doing something and filming myself in this chair. And I can't be more happy with the quality. Now as someone who's owned this chair for over half a year, um, those are the pros and those are the cons. I can't think of anything else. It's really simple, you should get this chair. If you're in the market for a cheap chair that looks nice and functions well and can lay down flat and has a foot rest but doesn't have raising. Again, all the stuff I said, if that sounds appealing to you, it's easy, get this chair. Now I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, usually I make videos about music but I just wanted to make this quick video about this chair. So if you're new, maybe subscribe. Consider possibly watching some more of my videos. Um, I think you'd enjoy them, but at the very least, you could hit the like button for me and let me know in the comments if you have this chair, if you're buying this chair, any thoughts or any questions because I respond to almost every comment on this channel. I think my YouTube response rate is something like 99.7%. You can be pretty certain that I'm gonna respond unless for some reason between the time of posting this and you watching it, I've gotten millions of subscribers and get 20,000 comments per video, but I doubt that's gonna happen that quickly, so don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.